Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. Right now we're gonna go check out the 22nd Street show. Didn't get to film here last year, got kicked out right away. Uh, hopefully it'll be better <laughs> than it was last year. Dino bone, some Moroccan agates. Some Burmese Jade and Peter site. Some Persian turquoise. Any yeah, prices on them? No prices. Atlantisite. It's some kind of serpentine with stitch tied inside of it. The water show is big in here. Several of these tents against each other. Pink opal, looks like these have prices on them. Oh, no prices. Just tags, perhaps for whoever buys them to resell. The tags are already there. Ethiopian. It's nice. Ethiopian facet. A lot of shows. Only sell wholesale. A lot of vendors only sell wholesale. <sighs> Gotta love the Ocean Jasper. Maybe we can catch an interview with one of the main miners of Ocean Jasper this year. Morganite, not to be mistaken with rose quartz. A friend of mine found a giant piece on the ground during the Tucson show at our venue Kino Electric Sports Complex. Too much to see. So I asked the nice lady here and she says, these are between 20 and $30. I could never make these for 20 or 30 bucks. Fantastic. Tiffany Stone. I had the pleasure of vending next to the Tiffany Stone guy at the Kino Park. He told me that they didn't really have a name for the stone and they went by a few different names. Then somebody bought a bunch of the material from him, named it after their daughter Tiffany, and the name stuck. Sometimes the people choose the name, which is a real pleasure. It's the way a lot of stones work. Fantastic. For 20 or 30 bucks, you cannot beat that. So Chrysoprase is a prenite. But then again, the crazy prices are probably why it's wholesale only for this particular place, especially since you have to buy at least $50. That's definitely a crystal prize. Alrighty, let's 
go check some more stuff out. Howdy. If I can show you anything, let me know. What a pleasure. Are you folks the designers? No, we, we buy, we buy and resell. What a so blessing. Which one are you looking at? Oh, everything. Oh, <laughs> I know. Some of it is Native American, it's novel craft. And other pieces are contemporary from different countries. Uh, are the Navajo and Diné crafted ones from Arizona? Some are from Arizona, the single one is from Arizona. Uh, oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. What a blessing. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh -huh. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Do you sell these as a set with the earrings or? Yeah. With the Native American sets, I won't break it up. If you want to depend it without the earring, I mean the necklace without the earrings, or the blue block, the, the earrings without the... I can't sell the earrings, so we're going to do this. That makes sense. Yeah. You wouldn't want to break them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if it's something that I set it up like this, it's not Native American, you can break up the same. What a blessing. Uh -huh. This Royston is brutal. Can I trouble you for a card? Thank you kindly. White buffalo. Love me some white buffalo. I had the pleasure of picking up some from the Audison family this year at the Denver Gem and Mineral Show. Absolutely stunning. cutting this myself. Check out that Chalcedonia Apophyllite back there. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Little crystal cave. I'd like to crawl up in there and take a nap. <laughs> hey, I have friends who claim that you would find these all over Florida in certain places. I bet you the Megalodon's still around there. It's got to be. I don't want to meet it. I used to photograph sharks when we lived in Florida and uh, well, helped my girlfriend, actually. It was not fun for me.
I made the mistake once of trying to cut a piece of native copper with a regular lapidary saw. It destroyed my blade. The piece shot off into the bushes, and I've never been able to find it ever since. When I get bored in the spring times in Taos, I go try to find it, and it's just, it's lost in the sage. Ooh. Check that out. Very affordable meteorites from Argentina. I'd love to go to Argentina for the music. From Rio do Sol. How do you say that? Do you? Rio del Sol? Do Sol? Uh, oh, mammoth tusk. Beautiful color in that piece. My grandfather sculpts a lot of mammoth tusk. Fluorite from Highway 17 Road Cut. Whatever that means. <laughs> I like it though. Some Ruby and Matrix. Quartz growing out of the pyrite is absolutely stunning. <laughs> what a great price for this piece. This would make your house sell better for sure. Not to mention the crystal medicine. Only $200. Jeez Louise. Beautiful dog teeth. From San Antonio. San Antonio mine. At least. Can you imagine finding something like that? What a gift from God. Niska? From Canada? Yes. Fantastic. A little bit of a change of weather That's right now. <laughs> so here at Ken and Mary's Howling Moon Traders, check out that fantastic plains native person. I believe it's casted and fabricated. Absolutely stunning. Huge bale, you can put that on anything. You can have giant beads going through there. Only $675, that is a crazy deal. Absolutely stunning. Check out that butterfly. Absolutely stunning. Check that out. That is brutal. Woolly rhinoceros. I'd love to ride one of those things. <laughs> Look at his teeth. Look at that smile. That guy's having so much fun. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. 
Alaskan mammoth teeth slices. This particular one is $75. Stunning. That is a humongous tusk. What a beautiful piece. Check out that meteor. Would have loved to be the person that found that bad girl. <laughs> 9,040. I'd make a knife out of that. I hear stories that Tutankhamun had a blade made out of this. And I also hear that the Indonesian chrises, those curved blades, the real ones are made out of meteorite. And they can use their chi to make them stand up and spin. Some people say it's a parlor trick. If you watch the documentary, Ring of Fire, you can see someone do it. And I believe it. This one's 11,325. It's gonna outlive us all. Absolutely beautiful. Huh. Look at that dude, he's having a blast. And these are the fine folks with the rhino and the tusks we were just filming. What a blessing. Does Sid live in a museum? Uh, a museum just bought Sid uh, the first day of the show. Fantastic. I beg your pardon? Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, nice. cash Agatized fossilized coral. Okay, Yo, look at that. And only forty five dollars, that is a steal. Oh, what a blessing. Check out the Druzies in that bad girl. So affordable. These gentlemen were so kind to let me share this with you folks. So make sure to check them out. Oh yeah, forgot to mention today is Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, I just remembered something. I have a gig tonight. Bought a brand new Les Paul. I'm gonna go play that with my friend Carol at a Super Bowl party. Oh, I totally forgot. I beg your pardon. Are these in the water when you, when they're found? Yeah, they're down in the mud, like two, three feet sometimes, all the way in the bottom of the river, down in the riverbeds, yeah, underneath all the muck. Muddy and silty. Fighting off alligators, more moccasins, <laughs> yeah. like so moving them out of the way, grabbing this stuff out of it. 
but uh, when you pull it out, you don't know what it's going to look like on the inside, so you have to slice it first. I mean, it's like, it's like a geo, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it'll be on the outside, and then they crack this open, and it's like some crazy designs. When they um, flat lap, are, are they flat lap? How are they processing it to get the polish? Do they use like flat laps? Or? They got it, yeah, yeah, big, big flat laps. Yeah, and obviously you got some pretty big flat laps. Yeah. Do y'all <laughs> use uh, Highland Parks or something? No, we don't do it ourselves. No, they get it, we get it all cut and polished from the dudes that yeah. dig it up. Easier that way, bro. Way easier. <laughs> way easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they know how to do it. They've been doing it, so we leave it to them. Are they doing it in Florida? Do they do it in Florida? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. All Florida. Man. We just love this stuff so much. We had to, we had to get it. I mean, just like something like that is just crazy, dude. And it's so affordable. Oh, absolutely. I don't see how that's even possible. What? I couldn't cut that for 135. Bro. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing. Of course, of course. Is there an abundance of it out there in Florida? Like. It's somewhat rare. Um, the issue is you gotta know what spots on the river to go to. Most of the spots are just tapped down right now. And you got the, the two guys that do it, the only two guys that do it full time down there. We're in the water like 160 days out of the year diving. We buy out the whole production and never get produced. Oh, what a blessing. Yeah, yep, so absolutely. It's pretty rare material. You're not gonna see it anywhere else. The only, the only other coral you're gonna see is like you know, <laughs> Yeah, we have this much more. Over there. Yeah, we have all this and more over there. Y'all are the plug. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what? I couldn't polish this thing for twenty dollars, bro. No, no way. <laughs> like some of this is just crazy. I already had to pick out a couple pieces to take back home. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, so, so, so you got Sasquatch head, you? you got his eye, and he's got a diamond grill. Yo, Sam Squatch. <laughs> it's kind of like mountain like colors, you know what I'm saying? Like granite or whatever. Like it kind of fits right in with it. Yo. I'm gonna be real broken up when that goes. Nah, that's what you need to get it. You gotta just tuck it under the table. I'm about to. Like <laughs> by the end of the show, if it's not there, like it's probably gonna be mine. How it's, long have y'all y'all's family been in the business? Dad, yeah. What a blessing. I'm just a uh, family friend, help out. This coral gets heavy, so they bring me. Oh, yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Doing the hard work. Yeah. Um, does your family deal in anything else? Do you mind if I show this? We do primitive basket rock, cabbing rock, and turmeric crystals, as well as watermelon. Yeah, we got some watermelon here. Oh, thank you so much, bro. Of course. Yo, living the dream. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I hand this to you, brother? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely a nice little getaway from the uh, winter up there right now. Yo, it must be brutal. Oh, yeah, it's like 20 degrees every day, like the last 10 to 20 degrees. We all are used to it, though. Oh, yeah. Good this, at this, it. Is, this is the middle of summer to us. This is like really nice weather. Well, I'm like the only one in a t shirt in this building. It's nice out there. Right now. Yeah, as soon as the sun goes down, everybody gets all bundled up and we're just like, ah, nice. Yeah, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thanks for real, man. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm a pet friend shopper. If you're hungry or thirsty, you want to tell you a new secret. Stunning. Our and that's uh, Obsidian on the bottom? Yeah. Is that Obsidian also from Jalisco as well? It's Obsidian from Jalisco, yeah. We have Obsidian in Mexico, in, in Teotihuacan, in Pachuca Hidalgo, and 
Magdalena Jalisco. Beautiful, brother. It's the work of our ancestors, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Check out that beautiful toki. Absolutely stunning. Fantastic jade pieces. I love the satin finish the gentleman is getting, or whoever's cutting this. I think it serves jade very well. Some stones look better, extremely shiny. Some pieces, especially in jewelry, I actually prefer in satin finishes. Absolutely stunning. Some Siberian jade. Let's see if we can see the back. Is it rough? Nope, it's polished as well. Looks just as good as the front. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Gotta love that eagle for 280 bucks, dude. I would never be able to make that for that price. My grandfather is a master at cutting eagles and he begs me all the time to learn how to learn his techniques and his fashion of cuts. But I've been so lazy. I better do it sooner than later. What a blessing. Some more fantastic pieces. Oh, <laughs> guitar picks. They look, uh, they're a little too thick for my fashion. I make my own guitar picks out of tortoise shell, which they say is the best. Check out that Toki right there. Ooh, I wonder, is this jadeite? Or is this also yes. a nephrite? It's jadeite, it's uh, Burmese jade. Oh, nice. Yeah. Even though it's Myanmar, Burmese jade just rolls off the tongue, right? But Burmese jade, that's just everyone knows. Right. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yeah. Is all of, is this jadeite as well? It's, uh, yeah, from Guatemala. Guatemala. Blue jade, it's really extraordinary. It's one of my favorites. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. What a crazy great deal. <laughs> I couldn't make that for that price. No, they're <laughs> really beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. Hello. Thank you so much. Yeah. Tiger. Gotta love the goddess. You can thank Kyle Russell for all this great stuff. Love that little cap right there on the crystal. Yeah. So here's the thing, a lot of people are interested, a lot of people are interested in jade and they are looking at this, which is actually serpentine. And it's not that it's fake, it's just serpentine is a different stone. It's not actual real jade. This is what real jade looks like. So it's a deep color, it's got that really sort of luxe um, depth to it. And it's important to know the difference because a lot of people are selling serpentine as jade. So when you go around, you have to ask, is it serpentine, right? Or is it actual jade? Yeah. And because serpentine is gonna be a lot less expensive, jade is gonna be more expensive. Yeah, even at big shows like Tucson, you can still find people selling serpentine as a nephrite or something. And two, two booths over, we've got oh, people no. selling nephrite I'm jade. I'm sorry. I mean, um, serpentine jade as real jade. It takes 10 times the effort, 10 times the technique to carve nephrite jade or jadeite jade yeah. than it does for serpentine because it's so soft. And yeah. Do you know any, like, to someone who can't tell with the eye, do you know any characteristics you can 
tell just by touching or well really you know if you can really look at the the color you really see that difference in there And there's also almost more of a like an like a luminescent quality or like a this has sort of more of a opaque quality and this has almost more of a like a sheen or a depth to it. Absolutely. It's a blessing that you bring this to let people know the difference. It's important, you know, we want people to love stones and there's it's not that um, it's not that the serpentine isn't lovable. Just know what you're getting. Like if serpentine's great, but know that you're buying serpentine instead of jade. And if you want jade, get jade. <laughs> Thank you kindly. It's truly a blessing and a pleasure. Yeah. It's funny, I was just... Thanks for being here, Kyle. Hey, how are you? Doing great. So check this folks out. I see these folks every year during the Tucson Gemma Mineral Show. Every year during the Denver Show. They make these beautiful water infusers where you can get the crystal medicine from the stones without having to contaminate your water because not every stone is actually good to drink out of or with. Fantastic. How long have you folks been in the business? Ten years now. Yeah, it's been that long, huh? Yeah. I remember, I think the first couple of years of y'all, there was no one else making them. <laughs> I know, it's come a long way, and now we got the copycats. Yeah, but you're still the name brand. Yeah. This is the Nike. You can go buy, you can go buy the Fila if you feel like it, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the real deal. Let me show you this Do you mind if I, are you, are you giving, oh, you are. Do you mind you if I have one? Oh, oh, sure, you want What is this particular blend called? This is Wellness. Can I travel you to hold this for me? Sure. You... This one's wellness. Uh, yes. Okay. So the amethyst and rose quartz. Push the scalper on. Push the so it's good down. for um, body healing, emotional healing. And then it's all ready to go. The yeah, amethyst okay. is a great like. Uh, um, there are directions. It's really easy. Pain you only need so, to uh, wash for it. It's like once a week. Okay. Uh, they don't really get grimy. Or we anything. have um, diamonds. Oh, so. Okay. Awesome. So we have the diamonds also. And watch. Try this. You should notice. Uh, it should be a little charged. I just put some water in a few minutes ago. But you should notice the difference between the two. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely and stunning. great for energy, so you should feel a little jolt of energy shortly Woo. too. Kundalini Enjoy. experience, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. What a blessing. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. And don't forget, be the jewel. The Nike. Don't go with the Fila guys. You want the real deal, the real blends. What a blessing. Yo, sloth. There's so much to see here. I've been filming for over an hour and a half. Haven't even checked out a fifth of the show. It's just so big. Check out this petrified wood. Giant tree. What a blessing. Absolutely stunning. Folks definitely polish these things with wet diamond angle grinders as sold by Highland Park and a bunch of folks. You get a great polish out of it. You ain't gonna cut this on your 8 inch cabbing machine, I'm gonna tell you that. All from Arizona. This one's got little crystallinis.
Yes, sir. Hi, can you tell me what I'm looking at? You can't just have one. You got to buy them all. I know. Love the crystals inside there. One day I become petrified. You ain't gonna polish this up on your cabbing machine, huh? <laughs> seen my Denver show you might have seen the woolly mammoth hair that I wanted to buy and braid myself a rat tail with my grandma convinced me otherwise but that is so cute they were saying that the blonde hair at the Denver show was from the babies and the darker brown was from the mamas I wonder if these were alive at the same time as people did people ever milk them for like mammoth milk. I would drink some for sure. just starting. Can you tell me about this? The only way I can tell you is by looking at the bottom. Shatakite, right? Yeah, from the Congo. I've only seen cabs of it. I've never seen a specimen of it huh. before. Absolutely stunning. And it'd be half, half of that, 50% off, so it'd be $30. What? Yeah. <laughs> serious, yes. And what a he, deal. He cleans them all himself, mounts them all. I imagine that each and every one might take a slightly different process. He's got it all lined up. And he's got a huge space in Upland, and every every space is set for a particular thing. So he can move from desk oh, to desk. Oh, yeah, he's not messing around. around. No, he's, <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't mess around at all. Thank you kindly. If you don't mind, I'd love to take a please, look at this. Please, I'll take, yeah, take oh. it from that. Yeah, Thank you, ma'am. You're a professional. Well, not really. <laughs> That's a really pretty one. What is this? Oh, from the bottom? Oh, it's a, it's a Chilean tourmaline. Absolutely stunning. Have you ever tried to process any of the specimens? Me? No, it's... I'm just a friend. I just help him do this. Hey. It's fun to go to the show. And Where are you all from? Yeah, well, he has a shop in Upland. What is California. that? It's oh. right, near, right next to Pasadena. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you from there as well? No, I'm from Escondido, down near San Diego. Oh, fantastic. So this is kind of casual weather for you folks. Y yeah, except it's going to turn darn cold tomorrow. Oh, no. Yeah, drop 20 degrees is what they're saying. Oh, my. I'm from Taos, New Mexico, so like, oh. I think 20 degrees is still like 50 degrees warmer than we're having right oh. now. <laughs> okay, well then, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's really a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, it's stunning. Is it Imperial? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at the size. It's uh, over 22 carats. Oh. Do you happen to know, is that the natural formation? Like the termina termination? I can't tell you that. But I know he doesn't do anything to the stuff, so my guess is, yeah. Wow, what a blessing. I've never seen the the point set on the topaz before. Ah.
pretty good tips. Definitely not recut. Stunning crystals. Looks like this one might have been just sliced on a saw, perhaps a little bit flat lapped. Sweetie, really affordable piece. You can see the cleavage on the back. Arkansas. You two can go down to Arkansas and mine your own crystals. I have a lot of friends that pay $20 a day. A lot of the stuff, they're not really getting this quality. But um, you can go dig up your own. Good medicine nonetheless. are irradiated if they're from Arkansas. I don't think there's any smoky quartz from Arkansas. They actually irradiate the Arkansas quartz to turn it black. Great looking nonetheless. When you see it that black and it looks like obsidian, most of the time it's irradiated. Some smoky quartz can be that black. But this has definitely been treated. don't recommend popping your crystals into the microwave. I don't have any idea how they irradiate these to turn them black. Beautiful. $1,600 for this bad girl. This bad girl is seventy-five thousand dollars. Definitely more money than I've ever made in my life, I believe. But I'm a little budget boy. Beautiful octopus, octopi. Do you believe these are cut in Bali? I'm real familiar with the uh, frogs. The place of origin. Well, you get an eye for the different cutters from around the world.
beautiful. Is that a kingfish, angelfish? I don't remember. Are those the things that everyone's hunting? Some beautiful plains peoples. Alex, I have a trans. Yeah, good job, good job. 